name is Lisa Sanchez, and today I will be talking about team pregnancy. Living here in the valley, which is close to the border, can cause for people to be prejudiced. We get looked down upon and bad mouth by false motives, but us, that people that live here, know that those lies are not true. Teen pregnancy, being one of the things that the valley is looked down upon, has now been seen more frequently. It has come to the point where seeing a young teen girl pregnant in high school is not normal. According to the Brussels Herald, more than 1 in 24 girls are becoming pregnant between ages 13 and 17, making pregnancy rates be higher. The Rio Grande Valley pregnancy rates are higher than in Texas or the rest of the United States. I find it strange and interesting that talking about sex in a Mexican household is a taboo. Girls in the RGB are prone to become pregnant, so why should, why should sex not be talked about? Where it even has happened in my own family. And I believe that this happens because girls lack the education they need in order to practice safe sex or to, to prevent it. As I, after my speech, you will understand how teen pregnancy can affect girls negatively. My ultimate goal is to persuade my audience that sex should be talked about more openly and freely with our parents and in our own schools. As I start my speech, I will present my two problems then I will discuss my two causes, and lastly, I will propose my two solutions. I will first talk about the two problems that occur because of teen pregnancy. The two problems that pregnancy causes is the obvious, that young girls are getting pregnant, which causes the second problem, which is girls dropping out from high school. Something that is always talked about in the Valley is teen pregnancy. And coming from a Mexican household, all I would hear is how family members like my cousin or my tia were getting pregnant at an early age, ranging from 15 to 16 years old. My whole family would make a big deal out of it because in their eyes, it was seen as wrong and unethical, which it's the obvious way to react because why should a young girl that is pregnant be seen as a good thing? As I entered high school and I would see a girl pregnant I would be so shocked and so surprised that a girl my own age was carrying a baby. But now, as time passes, it is not normal and people are not really shocked as they see a girl walking the house pregnant. It is something like, whatever. But why should we let this be something normal? Girls are really setting up themselves for a hard future because now they have to take care of themselves and of a baby. But why should we let them just stop there when they can strive for more by just preventing one problem? Something should be done to change the way our society thinks about teen pregnancy. Teen pregnancy has as many negative aspects to it, but the main one is that girls that get pregnant end up not finishing high school. According to the ACLU of Washington, as teen girls get pregnant, they end up dropping out and are faced with an economic insecurity. What may cause girls to drop out? Well, let's think about it. As a young girl gives birth, now they have to think about a baby. After giving birth, they have to get a full-time job to provide for the baby. They have to buy them food, they have to buy them clothes and everything they need, and their medical expenses as well. On top of that, they have to be a babysitter if they want to keep going to school, because who is going to take care of their baby? So, with her plate full with going to school and having a full-time job, where does studying and their homework take place? It doesn't. They don't have time for nothing because they will be taking care of a baby now. So gradually their grades start slowly decreasing. And it gets to the point where it's just too hard to pick that up, hence causing them to drop out. Now that I have talked about the two problems that happen with pregnancy, I will now discuss the two causes. As I mentioned before, I come from Mexican culture and family. So sex was never talked about with me. I, I would hear people in high school talk about certain topics that I really had no idea about. I really had to look in the internet to, to find out what those things were. According to the article from Planned Parenthood, parents have talked to their children about topics related to sexuality but not sex, which causes young teens to not get the support they need to prevent pregnancy and delay sex. I realized that I wasn't the only one not being educated. Many of my classmates had told me that sex wasn't talked to them about either. They had to rely on the internet as well. 
and I feel that is and I feel that in Mexican uh, household it is unheard of that parents Mexican parents talk to their kids about sex. According to Newsweek article, a great number of teens and middle schoolers are not receiving an adequate sex education like how to correct pregnancy. In school, I never had a course that taught me the do's and don'ts on how to practice safe sex or all about the, all about the STDs that are out there. Health, yes, is a requirement for graduation, but it was sex was just talked about one day for five minutes. So is five minutes all we need for young teen hormonal teenagers to prevent sex? Yeah, I don't think so. Nothing is explained to them in those five minutes. So they turn to their friends for advice. So a teen giving a teen advice is not really reasonable. I have now discussed the two causes on this problem, which is teen pregnancy. Now I will propose the two solutions. Well, our parents are our first teachers. We learn from them first. So why shouldn't sex be talked about with them? According to a national campaign from Brownsville's Herald, girls that are open to talk to their parents about sex are likely to be abstinent, postpone sex, or use contraception. So parent, children should feel more open to talk to their parents about sex and if they have any questions about it. So I feel that an advertisement should be done in both Spanish and English for the parents that are embarrassed to talk to their kids about sex. I know it is a topic that should be is embarrassing for some parents, but this advertisement would show them that it is a positive thing to talk to their kids about sex from preventing from other things from happening. Education in a school environment is a must. So sex should be required in a, in high school graduation requirements. I propose that a course of two weeks per two weeks per year for, for four years until graduation should be required. In this course, their sex would be talked about, how to practice safe sex, all the STDs that are out there, and everything. Yes, it would sound repetitive, but it would serve as a reminder of all the things that can go wrong by not using contraceptions or by not have by not practicing safe sex. In conclusion, now that I'm done with my speech, you will have a better understanding that teen pregnancy can affect girls negatively. My goal was to persuade my audience that the topic of sex should be talked about more openly with our parents in our own schools. In this speech, I talked about the two problems that are cured with teen pregnancy. I talked about the two causes. And then lastly, I propose the two solutions. Teen pregnancy has not become a norm in our society, but together we can help prevent this problem by continuing to educate our children about sex and give them the proper knowledge in school in order to solve this problem. This is something that takes everyone from our friends, from our teachers, and even to ourselves to help minimize the number of teen pregnancies.